What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today I'm working on Chris's 2016 Ford Focus RS. We're gonna be installing the Velocitech Big Mouth Intake Duct on this car. Now this was actually created by the guys at Velocitech on their proprietary 3D printers that they actually create. So this stuff was all made in the USA. You can actually order it to whatever color you would like. So you can get this in different colors, you can get the front in different colors, you can get the cap in different colors. Basically the options are endless. So go ahead and check in the description down below if you guys want a little bit more details on how this works. But the basic idea is that over 60 miles an hour on the car, this will basically create a sort of a ram air effect. Where it will increase the pressure in the intake and what that's gonna do is allow the turbo to spool up quicker. It'll give you a quicker throttle response, a little more overall power and just better performance out of the car. This intake snorkel is actually specifically designed for the Ford RS chassis. They also make these for the Fiesta and the Focus ST. So if you guys are looking for any of those cars, check that out. They also do some stuff on the S550 Mustangs if you guys are looking for some of that as well. So for more research and for more computer analysis on that, I'm gonna put a link down below if you wanna check that out and get more of the technical specs. Also, you can guys can ask some questions down there in the comments below. So we're just gonna pop the hood real quick, get this thing open, and we'll start getting this thing installed. I don't know why I snapped my fingers, but it sounded good. Go ahead and take that front bumper off of the Ford RS. First thing I'm gonna do is take this little screw off in the middle. This is a T30 Torx. There's another here, two more over on this side. After that, pull out the chingadera, pull this thing off right here, and just kind of pull up on these. That just takes off the inside piece, and that way you can get the little plastic connectors out without breaking anything. Don't tug on these extra hard, they should come out with this little pressure. Here there are two right in this area. Once we release that, we can kind of just pull off this rubber little strip. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this little bolt right here. This is a T27. We'll remove that right in the front and repeat the process on the other side. The bolt looks like that. We're gonna go ahead and remove the hood latch. What you gotta do is just kinda pull this out up around this tab. You're gonna pull up right here. That's gonna release this. Now on here, it's just like a bicycle brake handle. So you're just gonna take it up, take the tab, pull it out of there. Now you have that released. Next, we need to take the headlights off. So we're gonna take these T27s off here in the front again. Here on the top, there we go. Now we'll unplug it from right here, take that off, and now we can place the light to the side. Now we're gonna repeat this process on the other side. Okay guys, so now you've gotta remove some of these extra tabs right down here in the bumper area. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off right here. That way I can access up in this area to kind of remove the bumper. On the inside here, there is a little bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. See, There are two 10 millimeter bolts right down underneath here. You just have to loosen those up enough to where it releases this white piece of plastic to where we can basically just pull out the bumper and that way we don't have any issues with any of that. If you guys have worked on a Ford Focus RS before, you will realize that you have piles of nuts and screws and bolts every single time you work on one of these cars because Ford just engineered these things with every bolt underneath the sun. You take something like 500 bolts off every time you uh, play with something on one of these cars. In this wheel well area, it's actually a good idea to just kind of turn the wheel inward that way you have more space. Then you can access this torque bolt right up here. Go ahead and pop out the front bumper. There's a clip right here, and there is a clip right here. So I'm just gonna press down on that, kind of pull up, see if I can't get the bumper to pop out a little bit. You can actually press it out of these tabs. And the front bumper should remove, I had to disconnect the fog lights, which were right here. There was a connection right down in here, so I reached out on the driver's side and disconnected that. And now we have access to the front, so I'm gonna place this bumper somewhere safe. Whatever the hell that might be. So one of the things that's actually still on here, and I think this is one of most people's first modifications, is removing this intercooler block off plate. So that'll add one horsepower, so one horsepower gain also from this. 
throw that thing out because it's trash. Basically what we have to do is draw an imaginary line right here on this front little cowling. So what I did is just kind of placed it right here. Just kind of got an eyeballed look at what we got going here because we got to trim it. So I'm just using some tin snips. You can use scissors or whatever you have. But I'm going to try to make a nice straight cut along this line right here all the way forward and once I get that done then we'll see if we can get this fitted up and we may have to trim a little bit more we'll kind of see we have two tabs here on this front piece of the snorkel so I'm using my chingadera tool again uh, getting right in there just pulling out that center piece there that's gonna take out the clip and then using the other portion of it I'm gonna remove the bottom half as you do with these clips you drop them in the car because that's always fun other one real fast and with everything on this car it's clips 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 clip clips screw 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 once you get down to it it's always just two screws but getting there is the challenge so that's the factory piece to get to the bolt in the back side of this area where we're gonna apply the big mouth to get it bolted down I just need to remove the stock inlet tubes so just pulling up on this little flap right here you can just kind of use this area this little rubberized piece is just kind of going to pull off of here and then you can take these pipes sort of out of the way this is out of there and now we can put the bolts in so we can get the big mouth screwed in Taking the bolt here that has an allen head on the one end and it also has the washer and feed that out of the front now once you do that take the spacer that came with the kit Put that in the middle there the shorter bolt that also came with the kit and put that through the other side so now from there i can just go ahead and just kind of put this on here ever so lightly and put it in so you can see the overall fit is actually really good like even without the screws on here just pressing it in the 3d printed fit is really nice the plastic that's on here is really cool too. You know, it's it's really neat because it kind of has that CNC look. However, you know that it's actually 3D printed, which is really cool. You can go ahead and take the washer that came with the kit, put the poly lock nut on the front, 11 millimeter. That's the size of this thing. Now we can go ahead and torque this down until it gets tight. Said we're not going to over torque it or anything like that. We're just going to get it until it's snug. And then we're just gonna torque down this side here until it gets snug on this side. We're good, nice and snug, no vibrations or anything like that. The whole trimming process was fairly straightforward. I just used those trimmers, so that turned out very good. And I think overall it looks really cool. Well, the last piece we're gonna install is this little Velocitech seal. This basically seals up the airbox and makes a nice tight seal. That way the airbox can build up pressure from that ram air effect from the front. I'm just using a seven millimeter and we're just gonna take off the top and then we'll install this, squish it all down in there. All right, so we can remove that. Now we're gonna install the little plug from Velocitech. All have to do is take the top part of the air box off and then it's just gonna smash right up in here. You can see the holes. We got four different holes there and then we're gonna use the washers and the lock bolts that came with it in order to lock this down. Actually the spacer there, we'll just go ahead and install the four of these. The poly lock nut. These are all tightened down now. All of these little nuts and bolts and screws. We have those all tightened down underneath as well. So we can just go ahead and reinstall, tighten down those seven millimeter bolts on the sides. Just slide them in just like that. Slide that right onto here. Go ahead and seal it down. Now you're good to go. Okay guys, so I just clipped the bumper back on, got those all clipped in, got the fog lights back on. I'm just torquing down a couple of those bolts that I took off earlier. All right guys, so there it is installed in the car. You can see it right through the grill. Looks pretty cool in that red. Interesting contrast. And then there is the capped portion inside the engine bay. Being that it's sealed up is gonna increase the pressure on the intake system and make your turbo spool up just a little bit faster, have crisper throttle response and a denser air fuel charge. So 
Awesome. If you guys want to see a more detailed version of taking off the bumper and putting the bumper back on, the one where we did Brandon's car, where we did Brandon's Ford RS, and we were putting on the ETS intercooler, I'll put a link, a little eye up here in the corner, and you guys can check that out. That is a really good detailed video. I'm up underneath the lift so I can really show you uh, where all those nuts and bolts are. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this all back together. We'll have it all done. So thanks a lot to Velocitech, and thanks for Chris for coming over to let me put this on his car. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Later guys, wrench on.